Slinger L4D NM the apartments left for dead apartments suicidal. It's a good map. I like it. I wish I could jump off the the roof, you know. But other than that, it's a good map. Cause I'm not really. We played this map uh, twice, I believe. We had an episode on it once before, and uh, yeah, I would rather just get back onto the roof, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I don't know my way down, so just, just kind of being up here, I feel a little bit better killing them all as they rush towards me, rather than having issues with uh, maneuvering around in there and getting caught and all kinds of other garbage that nobody really wants to deal with. Um, it's a good map, though, right? It's a nice map. It's pleasant enough, I think. I didn't end up streaming today, so my plan to have some anecdotes for the five videos is a little bit not so great. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just didn't really feel like it today. I think I might be uh, getting some, some mild depression. Maybe. Maybe. I feel lost without having all the stuff to do, really. So I might just start recording it and then just have it going up. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I know that, uh, now that's well, time. depression or no depression, um, like I'm fine. You don't have to worry about it. But, uh, how the heck do we get out? Oh, good God. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, super depressed. It's, it's more of like a, am I or am I not? You know what I mean? It's like, uh, it's like a, one of those things. Anyway, anyway, I did uh, start reading a new novel. I started reading a new light novel. I was reading the uh, My Disciple Game Over Again or whatever. And the writing in that was like garbage. It was not good. Did not enjoy it so much. I enjoyed part of it. Like, I don't know, the start of it was good, honestly. Like the first hundred chapters were honestly pretty good. Even maybe like the first hundred and fifty chapters. And then it just got like super repetitive. And the jokes were, the jokes were funny the first, you know, 10, maybe 20 times, but <laughs> it's, yeah, you need a little bit more variety than that for, for me personally anyway. Um, so I didn't, uh, I haven't finished it yet. I might, like, I still want to, it's still open in a tab, you know, it's, it's still, it's still in the to-do list, right? But, uh. Not really, not really a recommendation from me. It's not getting a strong recommendation. Azerinth Healer, though, is the uh, the new novel I've been reading. I don't even believe it's like a foreign novel. I believe it's originally written in English. I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but the writing seems to um, kind of lead to lead me to believe that. I don't know how many chapters there are, but. Uh, it does seem like it's a native English novel, which is a very nice uh, break from all the like just garbage translations I've been having lately with the uh, My Disciple game over yet again. So Azerin Healer is, is really nice. It's um, it's got a problem that a lot of light novels have. It's it's based it's a uh, it's about a girl who gets like taken into a game world and then she has to level up her class and stats and skills and all of that. And it's got the same problem that pretty much all novels or manga or whatever that have game mechanics in it tend to have. Which is the stats don't really make an awful lot of sense. And, uh... Because, like, I don't know. It, it just, uh, they, they, don't, they don't make an awful lot of sense. You know? Because ultimately in a, in a video game, you're going to have, like, a stat that's good for you. And you level up that, right? Like you're gonna have, you know, if you play Maple Story or something, and you're playing a an assassin, you level up your luck. You don't level up any other stats because you're a, your luck class. If you're a warrior, you level up your strength. If you're a mage, you level up your int. If you're, you know, a uh, ranger, you level up your your dex. And that's that's similar for like a lot of um, games, right? Where you have stats. Like I don't know, World of Warcraft, I think does a similar thing. Maybe I'm not sure. But like in a game, in an RPG, if you have stats, um, you level up. You got like the stat that you're building for, right? Um, it's kind of even in like Path of Exile, right? Like 
yeah, it's got uh, a lot of options and it, it, it can look kind of scary at first when you got that huge passive tree, but ultimately what it boils down to is you pick like the stat that you care about and you build around that, right? Um, and uh, yeah, when 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 you when you implement that in a in a novel, it just kind of defeats the purpose of having the stat-based stuff, you know? Because like if if your if your character is only going to be punch putting stats into ints, that's not interesting, and people are going to be like, well, what's the point of having the stats if all of the stats end up just being ints anyway, you know? Hello? Oh, and that guy's stuck again, yeah. Few spots where they get stuck in this map, but whatever. Um, so yeah, it's like, you know, if, if you have stats, then, then your character would realistically put them all into the same stat, because that's just how it makes sense in, a, in an actual game, right? But in a novel, when you're reading it, you want to see more of a... You, you, want, you want to use it as more of, even when you're writing it, right? You want to use it as more of a character development kind of thing too, right? Where, where your character is um, learning about how the stats work and like what they impact and then like has experiences that are like, wow, I really need to up this stat or whatever. But the side effect of that is that it doesn't really make sense because... <laughs> You know, as as a reader, you're looking at it like, yeah, no, it would just be better if you know you put all of your stats into strength or all of your stats into decks. Um, so anyway, as a rent healer, it does have that same problem. Um, a lot of people are bothered by that kind of stuff. Um, like a lot of people are super bothered by that, being like, I can't read it because um, the stats just don't make sense. And they make like they make sense, you know, like. Strength does this and Ints does that and whatnot. It makes sense, but it doesn't make sense why they'd be there or like why she's making the decisions that she's making so much. Um, and maybe later on it'll make sense, but um, to a lot of people that kind of takes away from it. I personally don't mind it so much. I just look at it as, uh, yeah, like I don't know. I'm 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 somebody who's really good at looking past that kind of stuff, you know, in in, in media. So I don't, uh, I don't really get too upset about it. But regardless, it's been like just such a better read than uh, game over again or whatever. Like just to an enormous extent, it's it's, it's so much better. Um, so I've been uh, definitely enjoying it quite a lot. I like uh, I like reading novels with. Uh, Powerful or like with with fairly good uh, female MCs. So I read. Oh my god! Just completely whipped all of those. Holy cow! Um, I like reading with female MCs. You know, I like that um, when they're when they're well represented. A lot of the times, they're not. And the female MC, you know, you you can tell when it's like a guy that's writing it usually because. The female MC will just use her like her feminine traits to seduce the men to do her dirty work for him or whatever you know. And those are not so great, <laughs> not so, not so fun. There's a lot of them. And typically, when the manga is written with it, yeah, you got the big boobs, you got the very revealing clothing, and it's not a very good, it's not a very good experience all in all, um, at all. But Azeroth Healer doesn't really seem like that. I mean, it might be a male rider. I think it even is. Maybe. I'm not sure. Again, I haven't really looked into it. I care more about the story than the person who wrote it. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. It's 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 definitely... She is, is growing and she is accomplishing things. And she's not invincible so much. I mean, she's got plot armor. But, like, you know. She's not invincible. Um, you know, she does have plot armor, okay? There, there's a, a strong semblance of plot armor involved there, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's definitely had her butt handed to her a couple of times. Um, but, you know, she's, she's strong, she grows, she's having fun, and, uh, I really like that in a, uh, in a novel, when, uh, 
the female lead is actually like good. It's really, really nice. Hey. I wish you could have come out during the Zed time so I could have unloaded into you, but it's okay. You got a few headshots there. I'm actually uh, impressed. Ooh, baby. No idea. Not a very good map for fighting the Patriarch on, to be honest with you. Let's pick up some of this uh, ammunition. The Deagle, the T5 Deagles are definitely our strongest uh, weapon, for sure. You know, bar none. So, uh, having them, very nice, you know, for sure. Where is he? He should be coming up over here, I think. There he is. T5 Deagles, man, are just so broken. Come on, dude. It's so annoying. I don't. I hate. I hate fighting the Patriarch on maps where he's able to, to run away like that. Thankfully, we get like quite a few ammo spawns here, so that's nice, at least. But ugh, it's still really annoying. Okay, we want to just pop him in the face. Pop that guy. Pop that guy. Come on, dude. I think he can only heal that many times, so he's done healing, right? I know we're fighting him in kind of a bad spot, too. Oh, jeez, he's right over there. Because he can run around that corner really easy, but... I don't know. I, just, I feel like it's not a very great uh, map for fighting the Patriarch on. Matriarch, sure. Abomination, mm -hmm, sure. King, pa King, King Flesh Pound, yeah. Hans, yeah. Patriarch's really the only one that has bad maps, in my opinion, so much. Cause he can, he can, he can mess up your day if he's uh, running around and making a mess of everything, right? Definitely, definitely. Um. Anyway, anyway. Here's your, here's your stats if you care about it. Where is this map? Did I say it? Did I recently talk? I, uh, have I talked about how I was lazy this week for my diet? Talked about how I'm losing weight again. And now it's like on track. I'm not sure I've talked about how I was super lazy this week with my diet though. Because I was. I went shopping on Sunday and like I really didn't want to. Um, so while I was there I didn't really pick up much. <laughs> so my diet this week, not very healthy. Um, healthy amount of food, not very healthy though. You know, not it's not a well balanced uh, diet. That's for dang sure. But it's been uh, it's been an easy week for food anyway, and uh, it only took me like ten minutes in the store to pick it all up. And that's including having to to make stops for uh, for my sister and eating some stuff as well. I'm looking forward to Sunday though when I go shopping again. I'm gonna definitely pick up. Honestly, I kind of like this week's so my my week this week has pretty much been pot stickers, eggs. A couple of veggies and then uh, like some instant ramen. That's that's pretty much been my diet. It ends up being like 1,400 or 1,500 calories, something like that a day. Um, that's that's pretty much been my diet this week, with a piece of toast as well with the egg. Um, it's been super simple to make, super simple to buy. I'm looking forward to this week maybe uh, toning down the amounts of uh, like dumplings that I get or maybe removing them and then replacing them and the toast getting rid of the toast and then replacing it with maybe a small stir fry once a day or something like that and uh, then go on that route because I can include some more veggies in that and I kind of been missing my veggies this week so uh, so I had some but definitely not a lot and I like my veggies. I like my veggies a lot. I know a lot of people don't. There's there's a, a lot of people don't like veggies, you know? A lot of people really don't like them. How the heck do we get out of here? Oh yeah, we have to go around back, right? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting to learn my way around. Um, a lot of people don't like veggies. You know, a lot of people, they, um, they have to worry about how they're going to fit in veggies into their meals and stuff to, to kind of get a, a more healthy diet going and stuff. And they, they're like, oh, I got like, I got the meats, I got the, you know, the fill me up bits I got, but I don't have any veggies. I'm not sure how to get veggies. Nah, I go to the store and I just like, I don't know, like they, I just, I really like veggies, <laughs> you know, like zucchini, well, zucchini's, is, zucchini is a, is, cause it's a squash. Is that a fruit? Or a veggie. Break time's over. Hold up. I don't. I don't actually know. More Zeds I don't actually know. This is. We have to. We have to find out. Is zucchini a fruit or a vegetable? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Zucchinis are fruits, a type of botanical berry called a pipo, being the swollen ovary of a zucchini flower. Neat. They are typically treated as a vegetable, though. Um. So I do, I do include them in my like veggies list when I'm buying veggies, but they're fruit, which I kind of expected. Cause don't isn't like the definition of a fruit something like it has uh, like seeds or something in it? Isn't that like kind of how it goes? And then vegetables are um... so you got fruits which have seeds, you know, apples and oranges and lemons and limes and zucchini and cucumber and all that, and then you have uh, vegetables. But they also have seeds, because, like, I'm thinking of like peppers, and those are veggie, right? But they have they have seeds in them. I don't know, dude. What's? Okay, we're googling it again. Okay. What's the difference between a fruit and a vegetable? According to Live Science, botanically speaking, a fruit is a seed-bearing structure that develops from the ovary of a flowering plant, whereas vegetables are all other plant parts, such as roots, leaves, and stems. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, so the so our our peppers a fruit then? I don't know, dude. I don't know any of this stuff. Okay, I just go to the store and I pick out a whole bunch of the colorful things that kind of look like they'd go really good if I ate them. And then I uh, typically I'll, I'll either pan fry them or roast them or something. So I don't have a lot of trouble getting veggies in my diet. Only if I'm feeling lazy, then I just don't pick them. Cause like it takes time to go through the veggie aisle, right? Cause like, you want some zucchini, you gotta grab a bag and stick a zucchini in it. And then you want some peppers, you gotta grab a bag and stick some peppers in it. You want some onions, grab a bag and stick the onions in it. It takes, it's a time consuming process, right? Normally I'm not feeling lazy cause I want vegetables. <laughs> Um, I have to be feeling super lazy, and I was definitely feeling that this week. And I hate it now. People told me I should just go grocery shopping anyway. Just just go do it, you know, you can still go grocery shopping. Uh, yeah, but no, I can't. Because I still like, when I was going grocery shopping, right, when I went grocery shopping and I was lazy, I still bought an amount of food that for the week is like a normal amount of food for one person to eat. Right? If I go and buy more food, then I'm, I'm gonna have to cut something else out. And yeah, you know, it might be nice to do that to get some more veggies in there, because I could definitely go for a zucchini or something right about now. But actually, I was gonna buy a zucchini when I was there, but they didn't have any at the store. They were out. No zucchinis, dude. I love zucchinis, though. Zucchinis are a fantastic fruit. They're a fantastic vegetable, okay? I will always, I will always consider a zucchini a vegetable. I know, I know it's a fruit. I know it's a fruit, but uh, I know now anyway. I mean, I knew before, okay? I just, I consider it a vegetable. You know, botanically speaking, it's not, but culinarily, I think I think it's safe to, to say that uh, zucchinis typically are like a vegetable. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a, you know, I'm not into botany, I'm not into all this kind of plant life stuff, okay? I don't know what part comes from the ovary of the plant. Anyway. Anyway. They didn't have any zucchinis. I was really upset. I did go through the, uh, the veggie aisle. They didn't really have much. They didn't really have much, to be honest. I didn't really spend too much time looking, so I didn't really want to spend too much time there. 
because again, it was in a lazy mood. But uh, I definitely spent a little bit of time looking through the, uh, just whatever, die. I spent a little bit of time looking through the aisle just to see if there's anything that's like really stood out to me. Could have gone for some peppers this week, perhaps. But anyway, yeah, like I, I bought an amount of food that would have been good for me, right, for the week. You know, like I said, I'm getting about 1,400, 1,500 calories a day or so, plus uh, some odd snacks here and there. I bought some bananas as well, but I forgot to eat them, so that was unfortunate. Um, so I'm getting like an amount of calories that's, that's like what I need. So if I were to go grocery shopping again, I'd have to like reorganize everything. Hold back on some of my uh, some of my dumplings, hold back on maybe some of the ramen, hold back on, uh, on an egg here or there, and I'm just like, I just I don't want to deal with it. You know, I've got my diet for this week, and that's that's what we're sticking with. But next week for sure, I am uh, I'm definitely going for a more uh, vegetable-rich diet. What I like doing, honestly, is I pick like one meal for a week, and then I go grocery shopping and I buy food for that one meal, and then that's the only thing I eat for the week, basically. You know, um, not one meal a day necessarily. I, I also like to buy like some snacks. And kind of fit that into the diet as well, but uh, I only like really cooking once a day. I love cooking, but the most I'll typically do is like a breakfast, maybe, and then uh, you know, a, a breakfasty meal. You know, not necessarily for breakfast, but you know, eggs and toast, an omelet or something um, for whatever time I decide to make it, and then I'll also make a dinner. But I kind of also have to get my cooking done fairly early because my family makes their mess um, later on and then I just don't really want to have to deal with it. So. But uh, yeah, that's typically how I do my uh, my diet. Next week, what's the plan? I don't even know, dude. Definitely something with more veggies. I'm thinking... Uh, Thinking a stir fry could be good. Maybe uh, what's the word for it? It's like um, frittata. Frittata would be good. Yeah, you can make a frittata, leave it in the fridge, pull it out, zap it in the Mikey for like, you know, 20 seconds or something, and there you go. It's a nice little, nice little meal. Stick a bunch of veggies in it, spinach and stuff. Salads too. I like salads. I like salads. Um, should be in here. But yeah, frittata could be good. Um, soup might even be good. I haven't made a soup in in years, like a homemade soup. If I'm gonna make a homemade soup, I'd want to make uh, a broth first. So I'd have to, I don't know. Have a, have a week of uh, like some veggie making stuff and get a bunch of veggies that I can like use the scraps for soup and then make a broth and then use that broth to make a soup. I don't know. Could be good. Could be good. I have to, I have to think about it. I typically like think about it as I'm shopping though. You know? I'll, tip, I'll typically plan out my diet as I'm there, you know, what, whatever the, the store has available, right? Like, they didn't have zucchinis this week, so I'm planning zucchinis into my diet, and I go, they ain't got zucchinis, what am I to do? Can't replace a zucchini in a stir-fry with cucumber, that's just monstrous. You can replace it with, like, squash, some yellow squash or something, which is just yellow zucchini. Well, I guess zucchini is more of a just yellow squash, but, or, or <laughs> zucchini is more of just a green yellow squash, but whatever, dude. My aim today is just way off. Just garbage. I've been having trouble like clicking on things on my uh, my computer normally too. Let alone I love popping the boss's heads. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I've been like just just opening up my um my like start menu. I've been having trouble like clicking on stuff. It's been a, it's been a poor motor skills day. That's okay though. Sometimes you have it, right? These are some dang good windows, dude. Holy cow. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.